There are plenty of Kentucky Derby visitors in town for the big race, and they're also be going to be visiting many of our distilleries and learning a little bit more about bourbon. Well, the Kentucky Bourbon Trail actually begins right here in Louisville at the Fraser History Museum. Great Day Live's Nyla Spencer and Al Bottom stop by to learn a little bit more about bourbonism. If you're looking for something festive to do in between now and Derby, why not experience the fine bourbon whiskey made right here in Kentucky? Whether you're a local or coming in from out of state to celebrate the Kentucky Derby, be sure to visit the Fraser Museum, which is the first stop of the Bourbon Trail. So we are here in the Welcome Center of the Fraser Museum with Heidi James, and you're a head of visitor services. Mm -hmm. So speaking of that, we're right here in the visitor center or the Welcome Center, right? Mm -hmm. And we see bourbon everything. Tell me what what's going on in this area. Yeah, so we are the official start of the Kentucky Bourbon Trail here at the Fraser History Museum. Um, so people can come in, you know, from all walks of life, and we're just here to answer any questions they have about the Kentucky Bourbon Trail. Um, kind of like a concierge. Um, so a lot of us have been, you know, out to the distilleries, and so we can answer any questions you have. Um, we have the field guides for sale here. Um, you can come in, you can like view these screens behind us here, and just kind of get your lay of your land, and, and you know, go out there on the trail and, and see everything. So this is the start of the trail mm -hmm. and there's six distilleries in Louisville, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, walking distance right here. <laughs> so where are they? Are they right on this main strip here? Um, for the most part, they're, uh, yeah, and then you also have, um, so you've got Peerless right down here, Mictor, so we're like bookend right between two of them, Evan Williams, O Forrester, and Angel's Envy are on down the street, and then you have Rabbit Hole um, right over there on um, in Nulu as well. Yeah, so this mm -hmm. is quite the hub of everything. So of course it's the History Museum. Mm -hmm. So there are actually bourbon exhibits here too. We do, yeah. So yeah, you know, you can't get much more Kentucky history than bourbon. Um, so we do have our Spirit of Kentucky exhibit upstairs. And um, that really just kind of shows you why Kentucky makes all the bourbon we make. Um, you know, bur bourbon can be made anywhere in the United States of America. Uh, we do make um, over 95% of the bourbon here in Kentucky. And um, that exhibit just tells us why. You know, our weather, our beautiful, crazy, you know, spring, fall weathers, um, our life limestone water, all of that makes Kentucky bourbon great. Oh, that's mm -hmm. amazing. So, you know, you all are more than just the history museum. Mm -hmm. um, with you all being the first stop of the bourbon trail, you all actually offer um, tastings and a whole experience, right? We do. You know, we, we wanted to get in the game, too. We got um, our own tasting experiences. Um, we have three of them. Um, they kind of all range in length and um, price, just kind of depending on which one you do. Um, so we start out with our Ready, Set, Go bourbon experience. Um, that one's really like a class structure. Um, like you kind of, the idea is you do our class, um, you do a tasting, and then you're ready, set, and can go out to the trail. And you know, because you already learned all that kind of bourbon 101 knowledge. Um, next up, we have our craft your own cocktail old fashioned experience. Um, so that when you build an old fashioned, which is the official cocktail of Louisville. Um, so we really, like hands on, you know, you build it, we sit there and you sip it and you drink it, and we talk, we talk to you all about things, bourbon, Louisville, whatever you want to know. And last but not least, we have our flight club. Um, that one is a, it's exactly what it is. Um, we don't talk about flight club. Um, <laughs> it is a blind tasting. Um, oh, yeah, blind tasting. Blind tasting. Um, we just put three bourbons in front of you. Um, we really talk about breakdown flavor there. Really have you kind of pinpoint flavor notes. Um, and then at the end we tell you, you try to guess it. Um, and then we just launched um, this um, this April through the week of Derby. We're doing a craft your own mint julep experience. That is so yes. exciting. I cannot mm -hmm. wait to check that yes. out. Yeah. It's, it's very it. good. It changed me. I wasn't a big mint Jolip fan. Yeah. And then this one, I was like, okay, I'm on go, I'm on team mint Jolip now. In addition to this, you all have this beautiful gift shop. And yes. I see it pretty much looks like there's a lot of derby stuff in here. I see some fascinators, you all have Bertman, yeah. everything. So if visitors or people are coming from out of town or even if they're from here and want to learn some more or grab some merch, you all have it all, right? We do. We do. Our, I love our gift shop. Um, we have um, over 90 different types of bourbon on the shelf for sale. Um, you know, because we, um, you know, we do, because we represent um, all of the Kentucky Bourbon Trail, we kind of go across brand. So we have a huge selection of bourbon uh, bourbons there. We also, yeah, we have our derby section out right now with all of our beautiful fascinators. I love walking by that section with all the color. Yes. Um, and then we've just got some good old Kentucky souvenirs too. You know, everything from t-shirts, shot glasses, anything like that. The Fraser Museum has everything you need to learn about the history of bourbon in Kentucky and get a taste of it. To book your bourbon tasting or craft your own mint julep experience, visit FraserMuseum.org.